Hello, everybody, and welcome back to a brand new video here on Crypto Loop. Today, we're going to be talking about CZ Binance and whether he is hiding something dark with Binance, BNB, and BUSD. As we all know, there were withdrawal issues uh, with USDC. There were massive amounts of withdrawals, and there was a ton of FUD all over Twitter and social media. So we're going to take a look at that today. I found a very interesting thread that we're going to take a look at together by the Viking. Um, he basically says... It, in this thread is Binance insolvent Four critical facts about the current Binance FUD. I read through this and it basically summarizes my thoughts on this as well. And it's very nice factual um, analysis. So we're going to take a look at the Mazars FUD, which is the auditing company of Binance. We're going to take a look at the claims of a Binance bank run slash insolvency. We're going to take a look at the FTT statement, which uh, CZ made on uh, CNBC, where he basically said that um, potentially the $2.1 billion that um, Binance got from FTX as part of their exit, um, if investors are going to try to claw that back. And number four, we're going to take a look at BUSD. Um, all of this we already covered in previous videos, but we're going to take a look at the facts right here. So the Mazars FUD, um, Mazar stopped all crypto audits, not just Binance. Mazars audited Crypto.com, KuCoin, and Binance, and they removed their audits of all of the exchanges. Um, so it's not a problem with Binance. Um, possibly they stopped crypto audits because they felt it was too risky for them, which is understandable in this climate. Um, so yeah, auditing companies are increasingly wary of sort of, you know, auditing crypto exchanges because you know, first of all, the transparency is hard. And yeah, so that audit being removed has nothing to do with Binance itself. Um, number two, claims of a bank run slash insolvency. Uh, Binance currently has $55 billion in the reserves based on on-chain data. And this is a fact. It's verifiable on the blockchain. So um, yeah, the claim of a bank run when they have $55 billion um, sitting there. And as you can see, this is the massive withdrawal that everyone was talking about in the past few days where they went maybe from like 65 billion to now 55 billion. Um, so claims of a Binance bank run where on when only a fraction of this has been withdrawn is ridiculous to say the least. Um, let's move on to the next point right here. Basically, you know, it shows... He goes through a lot of on-chain data. You guys can pause and take a look at, at this if you want to. Um, but this is not looking anything like an insolvent exchange or a bank run. Quite the contrary. By contrast, FTX barely had anything in their reserves and was panicking trying to get funds from different sources to send their to their wallets and serve user withdrawals. So it's completely different. Um, and there's just no comparison between Binance and FTX. So the FTT FUD uh, slash distortion of CZ Binance's response on CNBC. So um, CZ said about the $2.1 billion that re he referred to the funds that Binance got from their FTX stake, their FTX exit, which is like one and a half years ago. And it's not about user funds and does not imply an issue with withdrawals. Um, so basically the situation was that if FTX investors are going to try to claw back those $2.1 billion of that FTX paid to Binance one and a half years ago. Um, CZ said he was going to let the lawyers handle it. Um, so even if they were if they were to claw back those funds, it likely won't be up to $2.1 billion because um, Binance got BUSD and FTT and they didn't liquidate their FTT. So with the price crash, that's probably much less than $2.1 billion. Um, so yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen with the situation. But again, it's not cause for alarm. CZ also clarified in that interview that, that they have user funds separate and they have Binance funds on the other side. So that being an investment in FTX that was uh, paid back during their exit, those are Binance funds and not user funds. So if Binance keeps that separately, as CZ said, then there's no way um that this is going to affect any anybody holding money on binance and the fourth piece of fud was about busd um finally there's fud that binance has reserves problems because it holds a lot of busd busd is not issued by binance i said this in past videos as well busd is issued by paxos which is backed by us dollars and treasury bills and approved and regulated by the new york state department of financial services so it's approved regulated backed by dollars and treasury bills one-to-one -one. um so there really is no cause for concern and it's not issued by binance it's issued by paxos now something that i want to um add on to this is 
BUSD is issued by Paxos on the ERC20 on the Ethereum blockchain, not on the Binance blockchain. So what Binance does, Binance takes BUSD on the Ethereum blockchain, holds those in its reserves, and then issues the same amount of BUSD on the Binance chain. So if you are holding BUSD on the Binance chain, in that case, it is up to Binance to hold those reserves on the Ethereum chain. But if you're holding BUSD on the Ethereum chain, you are backed one to one by Paxos. So that's something to keep in mind as well. If you want to minimize the risk, put your BUSD on the Ethereum chain instead of the Binance chain. Um, so in conclusion, as you can see from the facts in this thread, attempts to FUD Binance are misinformed, show a clear lack of understanding and are intentionally or are intentionally aimed at stirring panic and hate of Binance based on unfounded claims. There are attacks against crypto, plain and simple. Um, and this basically summarizes my thoughts on the situation as well. So while there are not all answers, while not all answers are on the table, I think that there is a ton of FUD going on, which is largely unfounded. Um, BUSD is safe. It's not issued by Binance. Binance has a ton of reserves. There is nowhere near, they're nowhere near at their limits of not being able to pay out. Um, CZ said multiple times that they are backed one to one, that they have user funds separately by, um, that they have user funds separately and Binance funds on the other side. Binance is a profitable business, right? They make money through uh, transaction fees and whatnot. Um, so I, I really don't think that there is a big issue here. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Please subscribe to Crypto Loop if you haven't done so yet. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.